other videos so today is going to be basically a whole different type of video it's going to be story time slash you know tips for upcoming you know parents or like even you know the children out there um, yeah. and yeah so basically it's going to be a video about me going to a low income school and me going to a high income school and i'm going to just tell you guys the difference from my opinion and what i went through my different experiences about me going and transitioning to from a high income school to a low income school um the school that i went to i don't know how many people it was but it was a lot of people i think it was like more than ten thousand students that went to the high income school that I went to was the first school I went to, and the low income school was the second school. The, the main difference that I've had when I went to the high income school and the low income school was the crowd. When I was at the low income school, it was just a lot of African Americans and it was a lot of Hispanics. It wasn't very diverse like how uh, my high income high school was whenever I went. I went to a school in the suburbs. I went to a school where mainly rich people went to and high class people went to mostly and then I switched because of my parents and I went to a low income school where it was in the some way classified the hood and it was in a very low income area most of the people that went there did not have no money most people that went there were broke. people that went there were not rich so it was kind of different coming from different perspectives and different views you know so the high income school that I went to in the suburbs, it was lit because it was very diverse. So I wasn't just seeing African Americans and Hispanics. I was seeing Indians, Pakistans, Arabians, stuff like that, even people from Canada. So it was totally different. And then the vibes are different. Me being at a low income school really made you be on your toes. The vibe was totally different, mainly because I guess people, you already know how it is. like. People were prone to more violence over there, so it was just a lot of fights. There was fights and brawls every single day. I had people coming to school stabbing people. Somebody brought a gun to school. Um, so I shot somebody down school campus. Um, the principal at the hood school that I was going to, you guys, he was intoxicated, but they let him go. I thought he was going to be in jail because that's manslaughter, but, you know, he got out. But they later fired him. They got another principal whenever I graduated from there. My first two years, I went to the high income school in the suburbs. And the second two years, I went to the low income one. Um, so what I mean by the vibe is different. Like I said, people are more prone to doing more negative things. There were people smoking in the restrooms when I was there. There was people lighting trash cans on fire. People was doing some crazy, crazy things. Um, people was even fighting the principal. It was just crazy. People was literally going up into the ceilings of the school to smoke. And then people were saying how there's an underground pool and you can go underneath it from the cafeteria. And the suburbs, it was cool. Um, you did have people that was around drugs, but it was really just marijuana. So you wasn't really dealing with, um, you know, a lot of other drugs or um i don't know energies it wasn't bad energy there was fights at the other school i went to the good school that i went to but it wasn't like every single day like how it was when i went to the school in the hood it was like every single day a fight getting joined into gangs like on the track so it was it was crazy it was bizarre and and the good school that i went to I guess there was, you could say there was people in gangs, but I did not know of anybody that was. I mostly knew people that didn't go to the school that I went to when I was at the school in the suburbs. I knew people that was in schools around where my school was because, you know, I was friends with a lot of people in middle school, so my friends all scattered and stuff, and they all went to different high schools, so I was friends with a lot of different people from different high schools. I wasn't just friends with people from one high school, so it was like i said the vibes the bourbon school that i went to the friends that i had some of them were weak because they stole stuff from me they would wait until i was drunk or you know um sleep to steal my phone or steal valuable items from me i have got stuff stolen but you know it's it's not that deep it's materialistic items i've had clothes phones stolen i've had my money stolen from me 
I have my wallet stolen from me. I can get that all back. I don't care. At the end of the day, these people are going to have bad karma. I'm not. So, I don't know. I don't know. But it was, it was okay. I would rate the basketball that I went to a three just because um, the people there was just intoxicating. Like, it was just ugh, going to school. I did not want to go teaching. I was teaching off of worksheets or, like, online. So, you know, it wasn't, like, actual teaching. I don't know. As you could say, my other school I went to, the first one, the good one, they were actually sitting there teaching. So you didn't have worksheets every day to do. Like, you was actually getting up on the whiteboard and doing answers and questions and stuff like that, like joining into the class and stuff. So it's kind of different. Also, the electives were different. At the bad school I went to, there was barely any electives. And at the good school I was going to, they had a lot of electives. Um, the only electives they had at the bad school was, like, theater, uh fashion marketing i think it was fashion marketing that's the class i took i took theater there too and they had um what's the one where you got to take care of the lights and the sound for theater they had that one and they have like a couple of other sports and a dab of other ones like on cc and like you know other type of electives but it wasn't like good outstanding or like fun electives like that like my other one because my first school that went to the good one they had wood shop class they had an art class um they had firefighting class they had a police class so you want guys want to be a police officer you could have done that they had a fashion class where you can go and like, like they had a fashion advertising or fashion marketing class too but they had also another fashion class where you can go and make your clothes and they help you make learn how to make clothes. Then they had a cosmetology class. And then they had like they had a lot of other classes. They had even like language classes, like it wasn't just Spanish, French. They had Italian, German, um they had Chinese, Japanese, they even had sign language. So I kind of, I know how to do sign language, but I only know my, I only know how to spell my name. I don't know nothing else. And curse words. So, um, I never took sign language class, but my friends that I knew, they taught me how to say my name and how to say curse words. So, I just remembered it since then. But, I don't know. Like, they had better electives. And the teachers cared more at the better school. Teachers didn't really care that much. They would just pass you at the the bad school that went to the hood school that I went to. Um the low income school that I went to, they would just pass down how the schedule was, like the low income school you had to do I think it was four classes one day and then the next day you had three other classes and then you had them for like an hour or two. And at my first school, the high income school that I went to in the suburbs, it was totally different. I had seven periods a day. So we went to seven classes a day, not four. And they worked for an hour long and for 30 minutes and then I went to a different class. So it was totally different for me, you know, and I don't know. I liked the other one better because I didn't like just sitting there having to deal with the teacher for a whole hour and a half. That was horrible. Like, oh my goodness. And then, you know, sometimes they would have half days. Like they had half days on weekends. I said weekends. They had half days on um, Wednesday. My bad, you guys. People keep calling me, and I'm just declining it because I don't know why they call it. Act are different. What they wore was different. Like, people at the school I went to in the suburbs, they was all wearing designer. And then some of them was wearing regular clothes. And when I was living, well, when I was going to the one that was by the low-income school, it was because um, I didn't want to go to that other school no more. So I decided to switch and go to a different school. Um so when i went there it was like a lot of people wore like rainbow and like stuff like basically they was they was they was wearing stuff that i never heard of i've never heard of rainbow till i went to that school so it's totally different for me because i'm not gonna say my people are rich but they're not poor either so i never dealt with not having non-designer stuff because i've been wearing victoria's secret and pink since like sixth grade and I've been wearing, like, you know, Converse Vans, all that stuff. Basically, Michael Kors, Versace, stuff like that. Like, I've been watch I've been wearing all that stuff for the longest. And I just don't understand how people from that cool, you know, outfits and stuff like that. And 
there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying it wasn't like a lot of um, name brand stuff. They wasn't wearing a lot of name brand stuff. So that's what I noticed too. And a lot of people were more stuck up. Like when I went to my other school, people weren't as stuck up. They were more nice. But at the low income school, a lot of people are stuck up and they're rude. Or at least the females were. The dudes were cool, but all the dudes, well, most of the dudes were about, you know, what they were worrying about in high school. So it was just, it was just horrible altogether. <laughs> um, there was nowhere around that school. This school was gated. My first school, the high income school, is not gated. And you could walk to a subway. And I liked how my high income school, we had different lunch lines. So we had a McDonald's and a Chick fil A and a Papa John's or a Pizza Hut um, line. And when I went to the low income school, they didn't have that. They didn't, and when they did, they had it at a table. They didn't have like an actual line. You know, so it was totally different, like I said, how like the inside was too. Like my other school was way bigger than this school. Had more levels, had more things to do, stuff like that, right? So, and I get bored of being in the same place for too long, regardless. Like I always wanted to be the type of person to want to switch schools every single year. Because I get bored of being around the same area, same people all the time sometimes. So that's how I felt at the time. But yeah, like, I don't know. And most of my friends that I have till now, to this day, I was friends with at my high income school. I'm still friends with to this day. Most of the friends that I was friends with at the low income school, I'm not friends with. I'm only friends with probably like two people from there. And that's it. Like, most of my friends I talk to to this day are from the high income school and that shows a lot too because people that I was meeting from the low income school they felt like they had to prove themselves and they felt like you know you got to talk every day or like you got to hang out with somebody to have to be friends with somebody and people I was meeting from the high income school I didn't have to be all up in somebody's face every day to be friends with somebody you know or go out everywhere with you to be friends like I was meeting people from the high income school that I wasn't even, like, hanging out with in real life. Like, we was just texting or we would see each other in school, and that was it. And those were most of my friends. So, it was just, you know, like I said, it's a whole different vibe. Um, even the fights and the drama. And so, yeah. But, yeah, um, probably people out there that's probably thinking about, like, oh, should I put my kid in, you know, a low-income school or a high-income school? Make sure you put them in a high-income school. The reason why is just because, you know, putting them in a low-income school might help them. You know, as in, it might help them strengthen and, you know, their mentality. But the same stuff kind of happens at a low-income school. It happens at a high-income school. The only difference is they have more opportunities at a high-income school. The fact that they got teachers that would care, you know. They actually got a good learning process instead of just printing out worksheets and just giving it to you. Or just passing people just to pass them, you know. And, um you're gonna be dealing with real friends probably more than likely plus um your child will probably be a little bit i don't know i can't really say smarter i would say smarter just because i feel like i learned more stuff in my high income school than in my low income school i did not learn nothing from my low income school besides like probably stuff about real life but like academically no I did not learn nothing. Like, I don't remember nothing I learned from the, so, yeah, of the low-income schools. Because some, sometimes they're greedy, you know. They want people to go there to get your money. So, they're going to try to say things or do things to try to make you, you know, go there and stuff like that. And I picked up on that, too. And, like, my high-income school, too, they had the liveest field trips. Like, they had Disney World, Disneyland, Six Flags, and they had Slitter Barn. And that was just for seniors. Now, when I was, well, seniors and juniors, when I was at the low income school, they had field trips. But the only field trips that they had, you guys, was, I think, it was to universities, people. And I knew of people, you know, they weren't really my friends, but they were in my class and they got, you know, into colleges because of certain people or they got, they know certain people because of certain people. And, like, a lot of them got to take pictures with a lot of basketball players and stuff like that. I personally never saw them. That's probably because I'm not interested in sports. I never was there. So, yeah, but I've seen pictures, you know, 
from certain people and they was like oh i met this basketball player and such and such and at the low income school you know i never really met a celebrity the only people that came at the low income school was tony hawk and it was like a skateboarding fest thing and that wasn't even fun that was literally boring i don't know what that was it was it was horrible it was a mess and they didn't even have the house situated so like everybody was walking everywhere everybody was bumping into everybody like nothing was going right so but yeah um that's it for the video, you guys. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Bye.